What's going on guys? John, back here with another video. Daily vlogging part two. Day two, I guess you could say. By the time this video is up, you should have already watched my very first daily vlog. It was basically introducing the 335D to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you haven't already seen it, click on the little uh, thing in the top right corner and you can watch it. Today's video, we are gonna be doing something pretty fun. I'm excited to do it because I never have gotten this car on the dyno. So we're actually going to a car show, I guess you could say it is, but they also have a dyno. They're doing $80 dyno poles. So we're gonna bring this 335D there and see what it makes. Before you get any further into this video, I want you guys to go down below and comment how much horsepower and torque you think this thing will make to the wheels. I'll give you like a little bit of a hint. I don't think it'll be exact. Castle Performance stated that it would make 350 wheel and 550 torque with the current tune and everything done to it. We'll see how true that is. I'm excited to see the actual numbers that this thing puts down. For reference, this is the M57 motor and they make a boatload of torque. I'll be the judge of that when I see the numbers on the dyno. So I'm excited to finally get this thing strapped out and see what it makes. We're gonna coffee. go get some coffee. Oh, all right. Oh, my camera, I got excited. My camera woman got a little excited and jumped the gun on that one. Yep, no you're not watching the video yet. We're gonna get coffee from our favorite spot, Kent. We're gonna go ahead and drive there. Uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. Pe peace out for now. I don't know where to park. Wow. Good looking over here. Is that a Tome? It's a Tome, Doug. <laughs> Bunch of lady things here. Oh. So I knew something was wrong. I knew something special about it. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Wow. Guess it's down below, what are we making? One ninety two and one forty, I think. Torque. Not bad. Here at the dyno day, things are going uh, not as planned as you can see. Just towed it out with the golf cart, so I guess you can't win them all, right? Skyline just needs to be towed out by a golf cart. 
year. Well, four flat, of course, hot boy and wheel hang together, bow rats. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the Dino Day video. The Dino Day didn't go as planned and definitely did not go as I anticipated or expected. There were a lot of cars that definitely got on the Dino. I was there at like 11.50ish and ended up leaving like around like 8. It definitely was a long day. I'm happy I got the car in the Dino at least, except for the fact that I don't think the Dino numbers were exactly precise or correct by any means. Uh, because I'll show you guys the graph. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of the whole graph because I was just like so shook to be honest. I'm just a little shook up. That's all that is. I'll show you guys what numbers it did make. As you can see, it was reading 220, 222, and 208 for wheel horsepower. And then for torque, it was reading 278, 333, and 310. So as you can see, numbers are all over the board. Like the RPM for like wheel horsepower, like 4150 at 278 like they're just all over the place i don't think that these numbers are correct whatsoever especially because i went ahead and asked castle performance which is one who did all the work on my 335d they deleted it tuned it themselves so what they were saying is that usually with what i have done exactly to my car with their tune that it should be making 340 wheel and 550 torque so when i saw like that big of a I guess jump down in like horsepower and wheel horsepower. I like immediately knew something was wrong. I asked them like if there was something wrong with the dyno. They said that everything was working correctly, but I think that uh, we just need to get on a different dyno. I don't think it read correctly personally. I can also show you guys the messages with Castle just because they were kind of like, yeah, that seems way off. I went ahead and messaged them basically what I had said. I said like, hi, you know, I brought my car to a dyno. You see deleted by you guys. And then he's like, yeah, the Castle Performance then said that would be stock or less than stock numbers sent over dyno graphs any code uh there was no codes on the car at all the car pulls like a champ it definitely doesn't pull like it has only 300 torque and 200 wheel but so castle literally said that that's literally stock or even less than stock numbers so something definitely was not right with that and then i showed him like the dyno graph and he said yeah that seems way off uh, he said the number should be consistent he's like we typically see 560 torque and 340 wheel on a mustang dyno so yeah definitely something up but i'm actually going to be going down to castle next week sometime we're going to do a custom dyno tune because since i've had it there we got a uh, intercooler on it and it, it doesn't even have a custom tune on it, it just has one of their flash tunes but we're going to go ahead and get a custom tune by them and then we're going to actually see what it makes on their dyno and with their tune so i'm excited to see what happens next week because uh i think this week may have been a little bit of a fail but you never know maybe this car only does make 200 wheel i find that a little bit hard to believe because these things stock don't even make that they make more than that i don't know uh drop your comments down below what you guys think was the dyno reading wrong or does my car actually make only 200 wheel and 300 torque you let me know because i just don't believe that but you never know maybe i'm just in denial but we're gonna find out the truth next week when we go to castle performance so um shout out to the dudes that ran the dyno event and everything they were great dudes they were hustling and everything there was a lot of issues unfortunately so you know you can't win them all but nonetheless still a great event and i uh, had a good time and shout out to uh, Ozzy for putting together a good event and a lot of people showed up, which was super dope. I'm gonna try and keep continuing to daily vlog. So make sure you guys stay tuned, put on the notification bell down below, get ready for more vlogs because they're coming in hot. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.